Hello, this is Robbie Mitchell here from Head in the Cloud Development, here to give you a quick walkthrough of the new Maps for NetSuite BFN approved suite app. This video is being recorded in February 2021 using version 3.1.7 of the suite app on NetSuite version 2021.1. So what is Maps for NetSuite? Put simply, this suite app is a Google Maps integration for NetSuite. The purpose of the bundle is to allow users to quickly map groups of customers, vendors, and transactions on a standard Google map within the NetSuite environment. Users can control what is shown on the map by using predefined save searches or by specifying filter criteria on the fly. A quick note about version history. Maps for NetSuite was previously known as Suite Maps, which has been around for about 10 years now. Other than the rebranding, this is largely the same suite app that users have known and loved for years now. So here's what this video is going to cover. I'm going to start from scratch and show you how easy it is to install the suite app and start using it. Then I'm going to walk you through a handful of customer and transaction example mappings. Then we'll look at how to alter which details show up when you click on the map icons. And from there, I'll show you how you can configure a map as a dashboard portlet. And last, I'll show you how easy it is to bulk geocode all your customer address data. Without further delay, let's look at Maps for NetSuite. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to start this demo a little differently. I'm starting from where you probably are, not even having the Suite app installed. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the Suite app and get to mapping. So first, click on the Suite Apps tab. If you don't immediately see the Maps for NetSuite Suite app, just type in Maps here in the search box on the left. Click on the Suite app and then click the blue install button at the top right. This should take about a minute. After installing the suite app, you should have this new Maps Center tab, which you can use to get to your Maps records. Let's get started with a new map. Now, before I explain what all these fields are, let's do a very simple mapping. Let's map the results from the West Coast customers search. And when I do that, you'll see the customer results from that search start to show up on the map. Now a word about performance. Plotting the results on the map requires a process called geocoding, which takes the address on the record and converts it to latitude, longitude coordinates. It takes a fraction of a second for each address to be geocoded here. As the suite app is geocoding them, it's storing the latitude and longitude on the customer record so that next time they'll map instantly. If, however, you have more than 100 or so records to map, I would recommend geocoding them in advance so you don't have to sit here and wait like this. And just to show you that once you've geocoded them, it'll map instantly, I'm going to refresh this page and try it again. So I'm going to map the West Coast customers search again. There we go. Now they all map instantly. Much better. And if I click on a map marker icon, I can see the details of that customer. And one other thing I'll point out here is that this makes it quite easy to identify bad address data in your system. For example, this is supposed to be showing me West Coast customers, but look, one is showing up here in Missouri. And if I click on it, I see that that customer does actually have an Oregon address. This tells me that I should really double check the validity of this address because it's clearly incorrect data. So now that we have something on the map, I'll explain a bit more about the fields here. On the left side of your screen are the map plotting controls. This is where you can choose saved searches to map, set the color, or do a mapping based on relative locations. Below are some additional filters you might find helpful for limiting the results that you see. You can use these in combination to a search that you have. So for example, if I select Mary Redding as the sales rep here, and then click Map Results, this is updated to show me West Coast customers where Mary Redding is the sales rep. On the right side of the screen is a directory of results mapped. This is simply a list of each customer that was successfully mapped. You can click on a link here to show that customer's marker on the map. So that was mapping and customer saved search. We can also map transaction searches. Let's say I'm a sales rep and I want to see where my recent sales were. For that, I'll select the My Recent Sales Orders search. And when you map transactions, the map marker also gives you a link directly to that transaction result. 
So from here, I can drill down to see the transaction details. When I click on the map marker, it opens the transaction in a new tab. Let's get back to the map. Now let's do a radius search. Let's say I'm planning a trip to Portland to visit Lexington Hospital Sales, and I want to see who else is nearby that I can visit on the same trip. I'm going to set the search origin to customer specified, and I'll set the entity as Lexington Hospital Sales. Now I'll search within 20 miles from them and click Map Results. So great, it looks like there are a few other customers that I could visit to make the trip more worthwhile. Now let me show you a combination of things here. Let's find Mary Redding's corporate customers who are in a closed one status. Now we can export this data to a saved search. Just click on the Save Search button. We'll call it Mary Corporate Customers. And when you create a saved search, you have the option of going to view the results or stay here in Maps. Let's take a look at the results quickly. So this is what our generated saved search looks like. And of course, I can edit it further from here. Now finally, for a more interesting example, let's say you want to map several groups of customers and use different colors so that you can easily tell the difference in the map markers. To do this, we'll come down and click on the Data Sets tab. Now I'm going to select four different saved searches and assign each one a different pin color. Now I'll click the Map Results button. And here we go. Now we have customers showing up in four different colors. Now you can see here that by default, when you click on a map marker icon, we show their name, address, and sales rep. Well, what if you want to change this to show something else? That's what this Info Content pop-up field is for here on the left. So let's open this record. I'm going to edit this record so I can add another field here. Let's say, for example, that I just want to show the email address of a customer. To do, that, to do that, I just need to add a row here on the Fields to Display tab. So the Record Type column is the search ID of the record that this relates to, since we could also be talking about mapping transactions or vendors. But for this, we'll set it to Customer. The Field ID is the internal ID of the field you want to show, so I'll enter Email. The field display is how I want the label to show up on the map marker icon. I'll enter email. The field join column would be for if this field was on a related record, such as a customer from a transaction search. And the show text not value column can be a little confusing. Basically, you would use this if the field you're showing is a select field. For example, the sales rep field is a select value. So we check this box. Otherwise, what we would see is the numeric ID of the sales rep, which isn't so helpful. And finally, the hyperlink column lets us set which fields will link to the record being mapped. So now I'll click Save, and then I'll refresh my map and try it out. So there we have it. Now the map markers show the customer email address as well. Now let's look at how to set this map up as a portlet. Let's say I want all my West Coast sales reps to have this map on their dashboard. First, I'm going to save this map. I'll call it West Coast Customers. So to create a portlet to show this map, just type in HITC Maps Portlet in your global search. 
and then click on the new HITC Maps Portlet option. Set the status to released and select which roles it should be available for on the audience sublist. Now click on the parameters tab and set the map that we want it to show. Now keep in mind that you might want to set up various map portlets, so let's give this one a specific title. We'll call it Map West Coast Customers. Then click Save. Now back on my home dashboard, I'll click Personalize and click to add a custom portlet. I'll close this pop-up. Now I'll click Setup at the top right and here I'll choose Map West Coast Customers. And there we have it. Now let's talk again about performance and geocoding. Let's say that you do have several thousand or more customers that you want to be able to map here without waiting for them to geocode on the fly. To solve this, we just need to geocode them in advance, which is very easy. Start by entering in HITC Maps Geocode Customer Export in Global Search. We'll go to the search and click the export to CSV button at the top left. Now let's go to maplarge.com and click on the geocoder. We can click try now for free and drag and drop your file that you just exported. And while that's processing, I'll show you the prices quickly. It's pretty reasonable. 10,000 records would cost you $40, for example. So now my record is done processing. I'll click Go to Results. And I'm going to download the first 100 records for free just to show you an example. So back in NetSuite, go to Setup, Import Export, Import CSV Records. Set the import type to Relationships and set the record type to customers only, then select your file. Set the data handling to update and open up the advanced options. We'll set the custom form to standard to make sure that our custom latitude and longitude fields show up on the next screen here. Now this part is important. I want to map the first two latitude and longitude fields from the data to the latitude and longitude fields from the maps bundle. I'm going to remove these other latitude longitude fields because I don't know what they are. Leave the internal ID here though, that's very important. Then click Next and just run this import. You can click on Import Job Status to see and click on Refresh. Now I don't have that many customers, so mine is going very quickly here. And mine's done. So now I should be able to go back and map all my customers and they should show up instantly. Let's try it. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that concludes our tour of maps for NetSuite. At Head in the Cloud Development, we're always looking for ideas to make our products better. Please get in touch if you have any comments or questions. You can email us at gurus at headinthecloud.dev.com or you can contact us through our website at www.headinthecloud.dev.com. We'll see you at Sweet World. Thank you for watching.